looks like wings are relatively good. At Lockheed Martin, a Colorado aerospace company where the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft was designed and built, a full range of emotions was on display as a sample return capsule landed in the Utah desert. <laughs> I'm super excited. That could not have gone any better. And Sandy Freund, who helped run the mission, described the tense hours leading up to and then including the successful touchdown. All went exactly and, and maybe even better than we could possibly hope. The SRC, as it's called, arrived three minutes earlier than had been predicted. Lockheed Martin delivers ahead of schedule. Uh, <laughs> and liftoff of Osiris Rex. Osiris Rex blasted off back in 2016, bound for Bennu, a near-Earth asteroid located many millions of kilometers from our planet. Four years later, during a delicate touch-and-go maneuver, it scooped up an estimated 250 grams of rocks and dust. Then, carrying its precious cargo, it began making its way back home. The organically rich material on board could potentially be very revealing. As a kid, even now, right, you always ask, where did we come from, right? And to be able to have scientists who may be able to answer that question is, is almost surreal. Scientists like Dante Loretta, who was part of the team that elaborately rehearsed the retrieval of the SRC back in June. Bennu may once have seeded Earth with the prebiotic ingredients needed to form life. Which means you can extrapolate it back to the earliest history of Earth and evaluate, is this a reasonable environment to be speculating for the origin of life on our planet? This is called the tag head, the key part of the sample return capsule. The sample is contained on the underside here. It will be subject to intensive study in the weeks and months ahead. To make that study meaningful, the asteroid material must be recovered and transported extremely carefully. Science really requires us to maintain the pristine state of this material from the moment we collected it on the surface of asteroid Bennu to the moment it gets into laboratories for scientific analysis. That process is now underway. Those connected with the mission at Lockheed Martin have done their part. It's the million little things that the team planned for and that millions of hours they've spent preparing for this. It's amazing seeing their reaction and their pure joy to, to this event. It's, it's really fun to watch. The OSIRIS-REx spacecraft is now bound for another asteroid, having deposited its sample, which will now be sent to NASA's Space Center in Houston for a first look by scientists, and then a more public reveal, which is scheduled for October 11th. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hendrix of Randy, CGTN, Littleton, Colorado.